What's going on folks, Renegade here. <clears throat> now, as you may know if you are a subscriber of my channel, um, I'm a little limited as to what I can do right now. Um, yeah. So certain things have to change a little bit. Um, so this video is a little different than I had intended, but you gotta roll with punches. As I would say, the show must go on. Now, a little bit of news, I did sell the Suzuki Intruder. It's gone. It was my intention originally when I bought the bike. I was planning on selling it. I was going to build it and then sell it. Well, that's what I did. What I said in the very, very beginning was... The grand plan for this bike will be to uh, do a custom build on it and resell it. So that was my intention. My intention was to make a great motorcycle, at least in my opinion, and I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys love the way that the bike came out. If you did like the way the bike came out, remember to hit the like button and leave a comment down below saying that you enjoyed it and that you love the way the bike came out. But I want to make an awesome bike, but on a pretty good budget. Something that normal people could make without having to be super rich. I mean, I love bike builders that do awesome, amazing things. You know, for example, Jared Campisi and his carbon motorcycles. Dude, they're beautiful. They're gorgeous. They're awesome. But I don't have the money to do that. And neither do you. At least, probably not. Anywho, so I did this all on a budget. How much of a budget, though, is the question. And that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. I was smart. And I kept track of how much everything cost me. So I wanted to go through it a bit. Obviously, I told you that I bought the motorcycle for $500. And that's obviously not something that's going to change. I'm not going to include the cost of registering and insuring the bike because, well, I was riding the bike. It's like including the cost of gasoline. Like, I was riding the bike, I was enjoying the bike, therefore, that stuff that I take, that's not cost of. If I had changed the color of the bike, I would have included that part. Because, yes, in the state of New Jersey, there is a cost to changing the color on the registration and the title of your motor vehicle. And yes, it is important because, well, if you're like me, the cops love you, so. Now, I will start off by saying that while I was doing all this, while I was finding all my parts, I was making sure to look for good prices because it's very important to me to buy good value. I want good parts at a good cost. So I bought the bike for $500. And one of the first things I did was I put new handlebars on and I put new mirrors on because the mirrors were gone when I got it. The handlebars cost $32. And this is all American US dollars in case you're curious. So $32 for the handlebars, $19 for the bar end mirrors. It was my very first project. I also put on new mufflers. They I actually had just lying about, so they didn't cost me a penny. It's always good to have spare parts from random vehicles. The next thing I did was I had to rebuild the carburetors. They were leaking, they weren't tuned right, so I had to fix that. A little bit of tuning, a little bit of cleaning, no problem. And the carb kit only cost me $47.75. Not bad, honestly. From there, I put on the new headlight, which had the integrated turn signals. Like I said, the bike didn't have turn signals when I got it, so it needed turn signals. The headlight took care of that. For the headlight unit, it was $13.90. Not half bad, considering. I then obviously upgraded to the LED headlight bulb. Again, I found one of those lying in my shed because I have random parts and apparently I had an next one. I don't know, but 
that one cost me four dollars when I bought it. I did look it up, uh, and when I bought it, it was four dollars. Cause buying things for cheap. I also had to get exhaust sleeves and exhaust clamps to properly put the mufflers that I had on. Yes, if you're watching and you've been tracking the healing process, I can now pinch things with my right hand. Thank heavens. Still can't use these fingers in most of my hand, but at least I can pinch them enough to hold a paper. The exhaust sleeves were $12.75, and the exhaust clamps were a whopping $11.60. Again, not much considering what they are and they're one low component. Now, of course, keep in mind that as I'm rattling these numbers off, the total is going up. Obviously, something might be only a little bit here and it's a little bit there, but it does add up to a greater number. But let's find out what it is. And go ahead and plant your guesses as to how much I actually spent on this motorcycle to get it, well, to buy it and then to build it to what it became. With the headlight, I also wanted to have that little extra fin on it to kind of elongate the line a bit. And that was seven bucks. So I got that. You know, I think it ended up looking nice having that little bit on. The next big thing was the speedometer. There was no working speedometer on the bike when I got it. When I got it, it had a phone mount on the handlebars and you just used a GPS speedometer app on your phone to see how fast you were going. Now, it's not a bad idea, and then you're guaranteed to know exactly how fast you're going, provided you have good signal and everything, but I'm not a big fan of that. I prefer having a speedometer directly mounted on the bike that I can use and I can trust, and I don't need to make sure that I have my phone on me, and I don't need to make sure that the phone is always charged. It's just easier to have a speedometer. Plus, I wanted to make sure that I had a tachometer on there as well, because when I'm working on the bike, or a car or whatever. I use the tachometer to help tune it and help make sure that it's running right. Plus it's nice to know that all of your electric works. So all your indicators and everything, the whole circuit works because most of the circuits go through the speedometer as it has an indicator light on the speedometer that one of your lights is doing something. The speedometer itself, I got for $28. I also had to change the tail. I wanted to get rid of that funky line and I wanted to put a nice new tail light on. And again, no rear turn signals. I put on a couple for just so I could get around, but I wanted good turn signals. I wanted everything sleek. So I got an integrated LED tail light turn signal brake light unit. That cost me $17. But of course, because I was putting LEDs, which are a very low power draw, onto an old motorcycle, which had a mechanical relay for the turn signals, I had to switch over to an LED relay. This way the turn signals would flash at the proper rate. If you're switching over to LEDs for your turn signals, and you have an old school mechanical flasher relay, the LEDs do not have enough of a power draw to actually activate it properly. You'll either end up with them not working at all, or you'll end up with hyper flash. As it turned out, the relay didn't work at all anyway. So it would have had to have been replaced, so lucky me. But I had to replace it anyway for the LEDs. That relay cost me a whopping eight bucks. Woo. It's one of those things though, you gotta have it and it costs, so throw it in your price. So that was a lot of the parts that I put on. But obviously other things cost as well. Like I did do a tune-up. I got new spark plugs for it. Uh, I did an oil change. I changed out the fork oil, you know. And the oil for the bike cost 27 bucks. The filter, another $9.40. And the fork oil was $15.25. Not too bad. Oh, and the spark plugs were $6, because there were two of them, and they cost $3 each. Pretty cheap, considering, like, my bike's got four, and I think each of those is like four bucks. By the way, it's not much, but if you've ever run across an engine that has not had a tune-up in a long time, you'll know how much of a difference spark plugs cost. And I went with good spark plugs. I went with NGKs. Hi, kid.
Say hello to YouTube, Jesse. My cat's insane and wants to be part of the video. The other big thing I did, obviously, was I painted it. Bike needed a little love. So, I got a fresh coat of paint. And I did a custom paint job on it. Well, all the paint that I used, the primer, the black, the purple, the glitter blast, and the clear, cost a grand total of $78. And of course, because I wanted those modern sleek badges, I had to get those too. Twelve fifty from Amazon. This gives you an idea. I was a bargain shopper for my parts. And I did all the work myself. Alright. I had help. Stephanie, my girlfriend, was a big help. And I need to give her a special thank you because she did help me out a lot, both working on the bike itself and with helping me record the videos. And let's not forget, a lot of those videos towards the end, I was working in her dad's garage. So she allowed me the space to work on it. She helped me on the bike and helped me with the videos. So special thank you to Stephanie. And hey, special thanks to Stephanie's sister because she was actually the one who drove me to go get the bike in the beginning. Although, to be honest, I'm willing to bet you that she thought I was insane. Well, Renegade, are you insane? But hey, it worked out in the end, didn't it? Like I said, unfortunately, I can't do this video showing you guys on the bike. And I can't go out for a last ride video. Because one, I can't ride a motorcycle right now. And two, the bike is already gone. But, what is the grand total? All in all, for what I paid for the bike, for all the parts, all the supplies, my grand total for this bike build for this beautiful motorcycle that I built is $854.15. That's it. Basically, $850 for a custom, beautiful, well-riding motorcycle. Dig that. Now, obviously, I said in the beginning in the very, very beginning, that my plan was to buy it, build it, and sell it for a profit. Did I? Yeah. Yeah, I sold it for profit. I'm not going to tell you how much. Let that be a little secret. Yes, I did indeed sell the bike for a profit. I made my money back and more. Yes, this was a risk when I bought it. But I was confident. It doesn't always work out this way though. Keep that in mind, if you're watching this video and you're getting ideas, it doesn't always work out. This might have been a fluke. I might have just been lucky. But it did work. And more importantly, I built a beautiful bike for less than $1,000. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the video series. Hopefully, like I said, you love the way the bike came out. And I really hope that you enjoyed this build series since it was my first big one that I went from start to finish. I'm hoping it won't be my last. In fact, I'm planning on it not being my last. I always like feedback, so I'll ask you guys now. In the comments, please tell me, what do you think of this series? Are you looking forward to seeing more just like it? Me buying a bike, fixing it up. As always, thank you all for watching. And thank you to anybody who's donated to coffee.com. As I've said before, a build project like this comes out of my pocket. The only sponsors I have are anybody who donates to me via my coffee website. Now, I'm not begging you guys on Patreon or anything like that. And if you decide you don't want to donate to me, that's fine too. But if you'd like to donate, you want to be a part of this and you want to 
kind of help Renegade get some more builds going, feel free to donate. Coffee.com slash the Renegade. Uh, there'll always be a link for it down in the description. It's always wonderfully appreciated. And anything that gets donated to their website always goes straight to the builds. I really hope you guys enjoyed this process. I really got, hope you guys enjoyed the video series. If you did, please remember to hit the like button, leave a comment down below telling me that you did. And if this is your first video and you're wondering what on earth I'm talking about, there's a link to the full playlist of all the videos I've done building this motorcycle down below. So guys, that's going to do it for me for now. Y'all have a good one. I'll keep rocking and rolling. I'm going to keep taking care of business, or at least trying to. I'll see you in the next one.